Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be going over how to group up with and play with your friends in Elite Dangerous. Now, this is a hella complicated game and I could spend hours and hours talking to you about it, but the one thing that I think is probably going to be most important to folks like myself is how to actually play with your friends. So that's what we're going to focus on here. And the first thing you're going to want to do to make that happen is to go to the friends and private groups option from the main menu. So once you select that, you want to make sure you have all of your friends uh, in your system, which is pretty self-explanatory. But here's where things get a little bit sketchy. Uh, so they have this grouping system in the game, which allows you to actually define who can play with you when you're in a private session. So what you're going to need to do is make sure that you invite all of your friends that you want to play with to your group after you create it. Now, I have heard that there is a bug that can occur occasionally where right after you in create a group and invite somebody to it, it won't actually function properly until you restart both the game and the launcher. I've seen this go both ways where it works and sometimes it doesn't work, but just know that if you have problems doing that, uh, restarting the game with the launcher seems to be the solution uh, if that occurs. So once you've got your group established and you've got your friends added to it, you're going to want to go to the start menu and select private group and you'll be able to pick your group that you've created or that you've joined with other people and that will put you into the game and the interesting thing about this is if you've been playing solo you will use the same profile and ship and status and location from your solo session in this private session so basically if you've been going around playing the game solo accumulating credits and ships and such that same save gets used here in the private session. So in this particular example, uh, I've gone here to a space station where my friend Max is parked with his ship and we are going to go through the steps that you need to go through to actually get grouped up and play with each other. So the first thing we need to do is pull up our comms menu. So the easiest way to do that if you're using an Xbox controller is to hold the X button and push up on the D-pad. Now once you've done that, you can hit the uh, right bumper to go over to the Friends tab. And then you'll see here, uh, my friend is actually online. And so whenever I activate this menu, one of the options that I have is this blue Invite to Wing option. So once I do that, he should get a request to be invited to my wing, and he can go and accept that. Breaker Breaker 19, Space Trucker, Alpha, Beta, Zeta, here. Come on back. Gotcha loud and clear, Propagator. How you doing? All right, good times. So one of the things that happens whenever you invite somebody to your wing is that the game's built-in voice chat will kick in. And as you can see, it's got this great old-school CB NASA type radio sound to it. Now, uh, depending on your preferences, you may or may not like that sort of thing. And if you're using voice comms uh, with your friends already, like TeamSpeed or Ventrilo or what have you, uh, you may want to disable that. And you can do that right from this menu. Uh, so as much as I enjoy Space Trucker Radio, I'm actually going to mute my buddy here. And then we will uh, continue to talk to him in TeamSpeak. So once you're grouped, you'll see that up in the top of your cockpit, you have an indicator showing the people who are in your wing. Now, the way the instancing in this game works, just because we're both parked at this space station and now in a wing together does not necessarily mean that we're in the same space in the game world. Uh, what we can do to test that is if we both launch our ships, we can see if we're actually able to see each other in the game world. Uh, around the space station or not.
Ship released. Engines engaged. Landing gear retracted. Ow. Quit it. So that is the first time I've ever hit the space station. Fortunately, that did not get me into too much trouble. All right, so are you uh, out of the space station? Yes. Okay, so let's do a quick scanner check to see if we can see each other. I've got a lock on you. Hey, look at that. It looks like we are actually are in the same instance. Hooray! Trying to locate you. It's interesting because I see you on my radar, but I don't actually see you in the world. I'm just behind you. There we go. Okay, so this is a happy coincidence in that we have managed to be in the same instance. Uh, if that had not been the case, what we would have had to do would be to go into super cruise, which is basically where you accelerate up to full speed and hit the Y button to engage the frame shift drive. In Super Cruise, everybody who's in the same star system is basically in the same instance. And so that's how you are able to spot other people that you're grouped with. Um, fortunately, we didn't have to do that in this case. And actually, the last couple of times I have grouped with people, uh, I haven't had to go through that process. So hopefully that's not something that's going to occur very frequently. But just so you know, if you're in a situation like this where you've gone to the same place in the game and you're trying to see your friend and you're not able to see them in the in the place you are, uh, the solution to that is basically to go into Super Cruise and kind of fly around and look for them that way. Um, now, once you are actually kind of in the same vicinity with your friend and you want to make sure that you're going to travel together properly, uh, another key thing you need to do is to link your nav systems. So what we're going to do is go back to the comms menu, select our friend, and then use the engage wingman navlock option. And what that's basically going to do is tie our frame shift drives together so that if either one of us enters frame shift or hyperspace, the other one will be able to follow uh, very easily. So uh, I think uh, probably the, the easiest way to demonstrate that is going to be if we just kind of fly around a little bit and then perhaps pick a destination to warp to. So I'm thinking maybe I will let you pick a place and then that way I can follow you and folks can kind of see what the following is like. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Let's take a look. So we're going to go really short. We're just going to pick this one, setting the destination. 
Okay. Lining up. All right, now I'm going to start accelerating. Okay, take it kind of slow so I can get in behind you. Okay, I'm on your tail. Gotcha. And the reason why I want to follow him is so that when he kicks into hyperspace, I fly right into his wake, which is what's going to trigger the event for me to jump and follow him. Keep in mind that both pilots have to have their nav systems linked for this to actually work. Okay, I'm at max speed, and I'm going to engage. All right. Frameshift charge detected. Shift drive charging. So you see now as I flew through his wake, my drive is automatically charging and it's automatically targeted his destination. And now I just Four, have to wait for it three, to charge two, and then one, I will immediately engage. jump to where he just jumped to. Always remember to veer away from the sun when you come out of hyperspace. Pro tip. And let's locate our friend. And there he is. And now how this works is, since our nav systems are linked up, if he gets interdicted, uh, or if either one of us chooses to exit Super Cruise while we're in proximity to each other, the other one will automatically exit and we'll end up together. So let's just say, for example, if I kind of pull up near him here, and then I decide to drop out of Super Cruise if that will pull us both out into the same normal space. Did that do that for you? Yes. Okay, so you should be right around here with me somewhere. Yes, there he is. So that's the kind of key to it is once you have those nav systems locked, uh, entering and exiting Super Cruise is synchronized. So you're always together with the person that you're traveling with. And that way you can ram them more effectively. But the key to that is that because you're traveling so fast when you're in Super Cruise, if your systems weren't synced, even being off by a second or even a split second would put you so far away from the other person that, say, they got attacked by another ship or something uh, needed to happen, like you needed to stop in a particular place, you'd never be able to actually synchronize with them without that navigation link. So that's kind of why it works the way that it does. And hopefully this all makes the concept of getting with uh, the people you want to play with a little easier. So I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more content from me in the future. Special thanks to my lovely guest, Blue Orthodox. I will put a link to his YouTube channel in the description box down below. And I will see you all next time.